the following announcement has been paid for by Perched on the Top Rope. Did you get, did you ever get reached out to by maybe like Jeff Jarrett when he started, obviously, TNA, um, which was the, I guess, if you want to call it the, the ultimate successor to WCW, um, you know, did you ever get reached out by, by Jeff or, or, you know, any of these other companies that wound up starting up as a result of WCW going under? Um, at one point, uh, Jimmy Hart told me he was going to get me involved with something he did, but he never, never ended up calling. But I saw Jeff Jarrett a few times, but never really had anything, um, you know, formal said to me or anything or asked. Uh, Flair asked me why I wasn't at WWE. And I said, look, dude, I said, I've kind of been through this and I don't like having a cattle prod to get people to do things because that's WCW. A lot of times people are just collecting a paycheck and they just wouldn't do what they should do as far as a production standpoint. And as far as them being like a product, like uh, a box of Wheaties and advertising whenever they can, they would just collect their paycheck and not do anything. And I didn't like that. And I always was one of those people where it's a privilege to do this job. You know, it's great to be in wrestling and it's great to be involved with production of it so you should give your all and the people some people just didn't do that and i won't mention any names but it just was really disheartening for me because i'm like man this is a privilege to do this stuff you guys really want to do something the flair said why, why am i not at wwe and they, they never did call me but i don't know that i would have wanted to go up there um i'm not sure that my ideas aligned with what some of the stuff that vince did I wasn't too appreciative of um, some of the gang girl stuff and things like that. I just didn't really think that was cool, but that's just, you know, just me. Well, I, 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 I'm sure I speak for, for everybody who watches Monday night raw, uh, certainly NXT and SmackDown each and every week. We could really use you mm. up in Connecticut mm. uh, now. <laughs> Um, just say, I'm just, just putting it out there. Sorry if it offends anybody, but when you're drawing a 1.1, just say it. Yeah. Hello, Vince. I say, I say it each and every week at some point in this podcast. Hi, Vince. If you're watching, there's, there it is. Because uh, just step in that. But I just appreciate y'all liking stuff we did. That's all. Oh, absolutely. Okay. I got paid handsomely for it and really enjoyed it. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you hit subscribe so you can get all our content here at Perched on the Top Row. And fans, remember, spoiler freeze, the way to be. I'm out. Mm -hmm.